Jonas Vingago, two-time Tour de France champion, wins today in northern Spain, Cantabria, the 16th stage of the 2023 Vuelta a España. It was an emotional day for Team Jumbo Visma and also a day that put team leadership into question. American Sepp Kuss still leads the race in the red jersey. Behind him now sits his teammate Jonas Vingago and in third Primoz Rolich. Jonas and Primoz switch spots today, second and third spots on the GC. Emotional, well 120 kilometers were on tap today but even before we got rolling at the start along the beach in Cantabria where we saw some storms brewing overhead and it was raining hard overnight. The Jumbo Visma bus was pulling in and just at that point news started to trickle in that their teammate Nathan Van Hoydunk who's been involved in so many of the team's victories for Jonas Primos and a helper along with Sepp Kuss. He was involved in a car incident and he was in critical condition. The doctors had to put him into a coma. Thankfully, we now hear he's okay at the end of the stage, but it was a terrible moment for the team to start the stage not knowing how Nathan was going to finish the day and a day that was going to be hard from the gun because only 120 kilometers of racing, very short, very punchy. We saw an escape form eventually after a lot of fighting under the rain, 15 riders in that group Sobrero, also Caden Groves in the green jersey of points leader. He wanted to get the points up on the road today to ensure that Remco Evenepoel didn't take that jersey off his shoulders. They never got much slack in the leash with Ineos Grenadiers pulling behind, trying to get a man up in the move. They eventually pulled it back. Then a six man move worked his way free again with Caden Groves and Ineos didn't even make the move. Back behind, Jumbo Visma was controlling the situation under ominous skies as we race towards this final and only climb on the day, a six kilometer climb up here to Bejas, never before used in the Vuelta España. You could tell Jumbo Visma, regardless of the situation with Nathan Van Hoydunk, wanted to do something today. And with the situation Nathan Van Hoydunk, they dearly wanted to do something today. It was an emotional day out there on the road. 20K to go, the escape had around 30 seconds by the base of the climb and they were gobbled up and it was gonna be a day for Jumbo Visma. Wilco Kilderman pulled off. It was the time for Attila Walter, the Hungarian champion for Jumbo Visma to go to work. We saw all the guys doing their job and then eventually we saw an attack. 3.9K to go. It's the two-time Tour de France champion, 2022-2023 Jonas Vingago, the Danish rider bust out of the pack, charging up the road and also charging towards the GC lead with his teammate American Sepp Kuss back behind. We were all wondering what was going on. The other day on the Tourmalet stage, Jonas kept looking back to see where his American teammate was. Today he was edging closer to the overall lead and in fact when he got the stage win at the top, he moved into second overall, leapfrogging his teammate Primoz Rolich, who set second overall at the beginning of the day. Now they swap places. Sepp Kuss is still on top, but what an emotional day. We saw Jonas over there in the mix zone. He was in tears. He's an emotional family man and racing with the news and Nathan Van Hoydunk today must have been horrible for him and the team and he explained how it was so. Thankfully, he and the team informed us that everything's now okay with Nathan Van Hoydunk in a day that also put a lot of question marks on the team. Who's the leader of this team with only a handful of stages to go with the anger loot tomorrow? Well, we just don't know. At this point, Jonas Vingago, stage winner today. Behind him was Finn Fisher Black, who did an excellent ride for UAE. He was chasing behind. We saw the attacks of Almeida once the Jonas Vingago was gone up the road. Behind in that group, well, they were spread out on the road. And we saw Primoz Rolich closing an eighth spot, one minute, one second back. And his normally domestique, Sepp Kuss, who's now the race leader in the Volta España, one minute, five seconds back in the preliminary stage results. And now if we're looking at the GC, this is where things get interesting because Sepp Kuss still on top, but now only by 29 seconds, thanks to the gains today by Jonas Primoz Rolich, now at 133 back and their rivals, Juan Ayuso, UA Team Emirates, the Spaniard at 233 and Enrique Moss, another Spaniard Team Movistar back at 302. So what will happen in the next days? Well, Jonas indicated that perhaps Primoz or Sepp uh, could go for the stage win tomorrow on the Angli Rue. It's a stage that Jonas said was suited more towards Sepp Kuss. So maybe Sepp Kuss will gain more time in his GC tomorrow and everything will be okay. But we're all kind of wondering, will the helper get his chance to shine in the 2023 Vuelta España? A chance to make history after Primoz won the Giro d'Italia. 
Jonas, the Tour de France, the team winning all three Grand Tours in one year, and it's never been done in the sport of cycling before, and doing it with three different riders would be quite a feat. But we have a lot of unknowns going in tomorrow and the coming days before the race closes in Madrid on Sunday. What we do know tonight, Bejas, is Jonas Vingago taking another stage win in the Vuelta a España and an emotional win for him and the Jumbo Visma team.